the kind of stuff I talk about on my YouTube channel all the time and 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 you know, advise people to do. It's always nice though to hear about you know, that it really works. I, 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 I've yet to meet anybody that's actually made this journey, that's made this transition that would ever want to go back to the old way of doing things. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, the teams are so much, I mean, the, the, improve, the, the um, productivity improvements are more or less self-reported by the, by the teams. Yeah. Um, and again, I mentioned those Dora or accelerate metrics, right. Yeah. Which is fortunately, I suppose our problem today is software delivery because there's a whole book and state of DevOps, state of DevOps uh, surveys and research that tell us how to improve software delivery. Um, and yeah, so we've been able to, we focused on the, the speed metrics, the deployment frequency and the lead time for change. Um, and exactly as uh, Dr. Forsgren's research would tell us, and what happened is by moving those speed metrics, we also moved the stability metrics. Yeah. Uh, and we're, like we're already quite good actually on the um, change failure rate. We were down at, you know, call it one to 2% overall, but now we're way below 1%, you know, for yeah. the teams that have adopted these, again, smaller units of work, more automation, et cetera. And then we've reduced the, the um, uh, time to recover uh, as uh, by about two to three X as well. Again, it was pretty good to start with and, it, and it's even better now. So yeah. yeah, we were able to move. So what was great is we saw that del doubling of the end-to-end -end flow or the end-to-end -end productivity of the teams. But we were able, we moved those accelerate metrics pretty substantially. So most of the teams we when we started, they were like medium performers in uh, deployment frequency and lead time. So say they were um, deploying, let's call it twice a month and uh, with 10 days of lead time. And now they're deploying twice a week with two days of lead time. Yeah. And again, there's way more to go. Right. So the you know, the ideal and both of us have experienced it is, you know, deploying multiple times a day with like an hour lead time. So yeah. there's a ways to go. But um already already you know just moving from that medium performer level to the high performer level let alone the elite level yeah. um made huge improvements in the team's ability to get their work done they're having so much more fun uh and it's better software it's just better software so we're doing our job by our customers you know a lot better yeah uh, yeah it's 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 great it's great it's great to hear um that it's it's having that impact it's not surprising, <laughs> but it's, but no, it's, yeah. I mean, like pilot, I always put that in quotes in my head because <laughs> we knew it was going to work, yeah. uh, but legit, we needed to prove to people at eBay yeah. uh, that, okay, yeah, you can, oh, sure. There's this book and whatever, but like, that's not our software. That's not our problem statement. That's our, yeah. you know, the legitimate skepticism that it hadn't been proven at eBay. So the pilot was yeah. really all about developing those proof points at eBay. And also, frankly, like we didn't just like walk in and turn a dial. Like, again, like I said, we asked the teams, what's blocking you? And yeah. there were things, like real things that were, yeah. you know, problems. And uh, and we, we we solved them or we helped, you know, collaborating with those teams to, to solve them. Um, teams a lot solved a lot on their, on their own, by the way. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So now we can go to teams and go, hey, uh, there's still a lot of those conversations about what's blocking you. And there are still more blockers for yeah. even those teams, but the new teams that we're bringing in, um, but here's a, but now we can say, here's a playbook like, okay, with your technology, use, you know, leverage this deployment pipeline, use, uh, you know, use this to tune your uh, build times, use this yeah. to tune your times, uh, use this again, traffic mirroring capability, canary capability, uh, et cetera. So, you know, so now we, we've built up all these, you know, again, this playbook or these tools and um, uh, tools and capabilities for, for teams to use. And I, yes. I, 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 I think that the Accelerate book is, is one of the most important books that's happened at least in the last 10 years. Um, yeah. Be, because it puts us on an engineering footing. It gives us, it gives us a way of just starting to use these metrics as genuine tools for the kind of improvement that you've described. 100%. In fact, I so agree. I actually said almost that exact phrase in another interview that I just recently did. I think 100% that Nicole, Dr. Forsgren's work here is the thing in the last 10 years. 100%. Yeah. I can't think of any more imp impactful research book uh, resource that as engineering leaders and engineering practitioners, we, we would use yeah. um, it at the level of the patterns book, in my view, it's, yes. it's, a, it's a gang of four level, like uh, stuff. And a lot of us knew 
and practiced a bunch of those techniques before she wrote the book. She wouldn't say otherwise. She didn't mm -hmm. invent any of these things. But the careful and scientifically correct analysis that she did, like the whole second half of the book is, hey, yeah. skeptical yeah. person, here's the science behind why all these things work. And you can yes. believe that. Uh, and that's revelatory because... Um, uh, because it convinces the, you know, people that are on the skeptical or like laggard part of the adoption curve, but also frankly, just simply the four, you know, there are more metrics in there, but like the four metrics that we talked about, the deployments, frequency, lead time, change failure rate, and MTTR, like we're not having conversations with teams about how to measure their develop delivery performance. We're saying these are, you know, you should read the book and, you know, I encourage you to do that, but like, yeah. these are the proven uh, things that indicate, you know, how well we're doing as a, as an, as an organization. And we're going to measure those and we're going to, um, we're going to look, we're going to use those measurements as opportunities to figure out what to improve. Um, and that accelerated us from debating, <laughs> debating the measurements, because there's a million debatable, <laughs> mostly bad measurements about productivity and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, all that, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and she just accelerated us all, <laughs> Pun not intended. Uh, accelerated <laughs> right past, um, right past all that. So uh, I think we all owe Nicole, Doctor Forsgren, a huge debt. Indeed, indeed, I, I, I think it's fantastic work. And and to kind of close the loop from where we started our conversation, um, I think it's one of the things that's. I I think in the last ten years. I've been seeing a genuine a genuine move towards something that feels more like an engineering discipline and less like craftsmanship, if I'm honest, craftspersonship. I, I think that we are, um, you know, we've got some tools that we know work, and we and when we wield them, we get better results, uh, and and that's that's what you'd expect from engineering. It's it's not it's not proof. It's not going to give you a you know a guarantee of success. But it's going to improve your chances of success markedly, you know, yeah. if, you, if you're using the right tools. I, I, yeah. And I don't, I don't mean that in, sen in the sense of compilers. I mean in the sense of these ideas, like, like you know, like the Dora metrics and so on. Yeah, and all the and all the all the techniques associated with continuous delivery. And yeah. we didn't even talk about this, and we shouldn't because we were running out of time. But like transformational leadership and like culture, because like it's yeah. not just a Technical practices. It's about oh, by the way, <laughs> teams have to be able to say the truth. You know, speak truth to power and like, absolutely other people's opinions. And I mean, yes, I mean one hundred percent. But like, I, I know you know this, but just I think the people that you know are maybe new to this industry that are just kind of experiencing this now. It's like oh, this is obvious. Well, it was obvious that these techniques were good things. We yes. had no proof until Dr. Forskin's work that yes. they worked. We had anecdotal evidence, but 40 years of research into pre-Nicole, <laughs> pre 40 yeah. years of research into software delivery and, and like nobody could find any, um, she says this, like nobody could find any correlation or causal, causal relationship between the various kinds of investments and, and engineering outcomes. And she yes. was able to, you know, she and everybody involved in the state of DevOps uh, surveys were able to figure out a way to, um, you know, uh, separate it. And like, that's the, that's the absolute brilliance that like stepped the entire industry up.